Hello, I am Rajan Arora and welcome to my course Essentials of SQL Server Performance for Every Developer. In this course, we are going to see what every developer should consider for SQL Server performance. Before starting this course, I would like to tell you the prerequisites for the course. To follow along with the course, you should have some experience with the development and you must have a hands-on experience on SQL Server because in this course we are concentrating on the performance tuning of SQL Server only. The target audience for this course is the developer who wants to optimize the SQL Server performance during their development. Now I would like to tell you about the course modules and what you are going to learn from this course. This course is divided into six modules. The first module is getting started. In this module, we will try to understand why developers should understand about the performance of SQL Server, restore the demo database which is going to be useful during the course, what tools you required to follow along with the course, and learning about the basics of table and index in SQL Server. The second module is analyzing SQL statement for performance. In this module, we will understand how SQL Server will execute the SQL statement, reading and interpreting the execution plan of the SQL statement, and going to see how we can optimize the SQL statements. The third module is building effective indexes. In this module, we will see what are indexes, how to select the columns for indexing, how indexes works with the like clauses, how functions in the WHERE clause affect indexes, effects of over-indexing, and interpreting SQL Server index recommendations. The fourth module is finding performance bottleneck of SQL Server. In this module, we will see the permission required for querying dynamic management views. We will also see information regarding the SQL Server sessions and resources usage and finding what SQL Server is currently executing and also finding the most expensive SQL statement running in the SQL Server and the most important finding the indexes that are not in use. The fifth module is capturing what your application is doing inside SQL Server. In this module, we will see what is SQL tracing and why developers should know about it, what is SQL profiling and how we can use it, and what is extended events and how developers can use it for tracing the SQL statements. And the last, the sixth module is applying common performance practices for better performance. In this module, we will see the common performance practices like use of parameterized SQL. We will also find our stored procedure faster than SQL in application code and working of object relation model, which is also called ORM in SQL Server. So let's begin the course with the first module getting started from the next video. And one request, if you like the video, please do share, like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you.